We do know right now that a lot of the PD psychosis, I'm sorry, a lot of the schizophrenic antipsychotics that are there in elderly patients, especially those with dementia, cause a number of problems, including increasing the mortality related to it. So there had to be other medications with which we can improve the psychosis without causing some of the risks that are associated with the typical antipsychotics. We also know that even the antipsychotics don't only affect dopamine, but they also affect the other neurotransmitters. So if someone could come up with a drug that did not affect the dopamine receptors, but the other receptors, maybe we could get by without worsening a patient's Parkinson's symptoms. So we don't have it because people were not focusing in on it, people were not paying much attention to it, using medications which were not approved to it, but realizing all the issues that are related to it, people have been looking at better treatment options for PD psychosis. There is one medication, Pimavacerine, which is with the FDA and hopefully it'll be approved in the near future. This medication does not act on the dopaminergic system. It is an inverse serotonin agonist, so it basically acts on the serotonin sy system. So because of that, it should not worsen, and it doesn't worsen Parkinson's symptoms. So that's the advantage of it. Studies have shown that using pimavacerine in PD psychosis not only improves the PD psychosis symptoms, but also improves patients' nighttime symptoms related to sleep. It also improves the patient's caregiver burden too. So this is a medication at least we have something which hopefully will be approved for PD psychosis and would be the first medication approved for PD psychosis. If there is a medication approved for PD psychosis, then yes, this would be the medication that would technically have to be used because that would be the only available and approved medication we have. Uh, you know, so far the studies have shown that it does not have significant side effects. But of course, as you know, with any medication, if a patient has side effects or any other safety issues, you won't use that medication in that patient. So the first approved medication for PD psychosis is also not gonna be the only medication that's gonna take care of everyone. Even the studies that have shown does not mean that the PD psychosis is improved 100% or completely resolved. So I think this is our first step in getting a better medication that we can at least begin to start helping our patients. But I think in future, we will need better medications for PD psychosis that even do a even better efficacy than we have today. In general, if I had a patient with PD psychosis, once I had the approved drug, that would be my medication to use. Right now, a patient with Parkinson's either sees a neurologist or a neurologist with specialized training in movement disorders. So that's what I am. So we have centers of excellence for Parkinson's that treat not only the motor aspects of the disease, but also the non-motor aspects of the disease, whether it is psychosis, whether it's dementia, whether it is orthostatic hypertension, we manage all of those symptoms. So technically, you know, if a neurologist out there is not comfortable managing, whether it's their psychosis, whether it's their dementia, whether it's their autonomic dysfunction, they would need to consider referral, whether to a psychiatrist or a movement disorder specialist. For a Parkinson's patient who lives in rural Kansas that may not have the same access as a patient in Kansas City does, there definitely can be issues in management of that patient. Uh, often, the local physicians have much more understanding of the disease than an, a general neurologist or a general physician in the Kansas City area might because they are much more comfortable in referring the patient on. But even in rural area, often the patients are at least referred for a one-time consult or something to get a better understanding on how to treat these patients. Often the medications that we have are medications that can be prescribed even by a general neurologist uh, doesn't hopefully require special monitoring, so doesn't necessarily have to have a specialist prescribing these medications. So from here, I think there is an option for PD psychosis patients where there is no option right now. We need better medication in the future, whether it is with lesser side effects, whether it is with more efficacy. The other thing is for every patient, every drug doesn't act the same way. 
So we definitely need better medications. Whether just acting on the serotonin system is going to be our complete answer or we may need to also look at other neurotransmitters is also going to be a question we'll have to revisit in the future.